This time on the show, breaking into command prompts using Microsoft Paint. Navigate Windows like a power user with Longi, FTP from anywhere, manually control wireless connections and backtrack Linux, and a whole lot more, this time on Hack5. This segment is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I'm Shannon Morse. And this is, of course, your weekly dose of Technolust. From the military Russia? Uh, in Soviet Russia, Hack 5 watches you or something. In I don't Soviet know. Russia, snubs <laughs> hack you. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gearing, Why? Up, we're gearing up for DEF CON. Actually, oh, by the time you're watching this, DEF CON okay. already happened, so stay for, tuned for next week because we're going to wrap up Season 9 with our coverage from the most epic hacker con uh, I in North so America. I am so excited for my very first DEF CON. Yeah? So stoked. It's I can't wait. Super exciting. So this is the first one where, like, you know, we've got the whole team out here. I'm so excited. Uh, I went like last year with Colleen. Now, yeah. you know, it's myself, Paul, you. Uh, we're going with Colleen. Dale Chase is going to be there. AD yeah. from Dual Core. Everybody, it's going to be a good time. Um, it's like a family reunion. Yeah. Well, one of the things I was like, I was like, all right, Paul. And Paul, he he kind of doesn't want to. I don't know why he wouldn't want to bring this giant rig. Be cut of that. He could carry it. Yeah, yeah, he, he could. Carry the gym. <laughs> he got tired of carrying it around at NAB and CES. And uh, I can he was shooting that. all that stuff with like this. This is the uh, GH1 by uh, Lumix slash Panasonic, whatever. Yeah, and it's amazing how far these DSLRs have come. So I was just like, oh, every hands off, you know, Paul, do it however you want to do it. We're gonna shoot the entire conference with these. Are you two. serious? Yeah. Oh my god. We're gonna see how it comes out. So a GH1 and a GF2 well, and. I hope it works I'm excited. out well. <laughs> that's that's what all this is for, though, because you know there's more gear than just you know I've got I got like what is this I got audio mixer oh, of course. over here yes. and we've got like I don't know what this is Paul's Paul's done this ridiculous rig I got like oh, mic mics, packs okay. I got yeah I mean it's DEF CON so you got to have your Wi-Fi pineapple right you of know, course you have to have that so, so um, are you actually wearing this at DEF CON and you're going to be recording no one? actually Paul's going to be wearing this. Paul's going to be wearing that. Okay. He didn't want to carry around a big camera, so he'll carry a light camera. Touche. And this. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, it'll be fun. Anyway. Anyway. Packages? We got a package. You know how I feel about packets and packages. We got a package from, I don't know, um, Christian, Christian A. All oh, right. From, is that Illinois? I sure. think that's Illinois. Which one? <laughs> I.L.? Yeah. Yeah. Illinois. All right. So he sent some, what are these, zip, a zip Ooh. disk and some CDs. He said, inside you'll find a few items. The first is a floppy disk size expander called Zip Disk 100 from Omega. The oh, second is something I know nothing about, but it's called DocuLand Personal Edition version mm. 7.0 from Xerox. And I'm sure you guys can figure out what it does. I'm really curious to find out. Since you guys like cats, I'm also including an image of the late Shinkoff. Shinnecock. He lived to be 23, and I, wow. I one day decided to get a picture of him listening to my first iPod and iPod Nano. Keep up the great work. And this is Aww. a picture of his kitty cat. Well, props to the Aww. kitty. I mean, That's a pretty you know, cool cat. The kitty looks like he's not really enjoying the iPod. You know he is. He's an angry kitty. Yeah, no. That's he's a, cute, though. That's a happy kitty. He looks kind of like my new kitty. Oh, uh -oh. I got a cat. Yeah, I heard about this. What, what's up with that? Her name is Starbuck, and uh -huh. she's like 13, 14 weeks now. And she's a, she's a bit of a terrorizing little stinker, but uh, she's adorable. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to encroach on Kirby's Meow of the Week. I might uh -huh. be. Now we're like checking. I mean, Starbuck is really cute, so. Uh, I, got, I got to admit. Uh, anyway. She's adorable. You know she's she right. is. She's all right. Darren picked her up and she's she no went. She's <laughs> And she started licking his nose. It was so cute. Right. Anyway. <laughs> well, hey, we got great stuff going on this week. Yes. I am showing off a really nifty trick you can use to bypass some Windows restrictions. Get yourself a little shell on computers that you otherwise wouldn't be able to. You're you hate the mouse, system. don't you? Uh, that's yeah. yeah. Okay. How do you know that? Because I've watched you do all your yeah. crazy key Dude, stuff. Dude, it's all about Alt Space X and then Control Shift Escape. With Whatever. Alt -tab, well, Alt -delete. he loves keyboards, so I have a nice little launching application for all your programs called Launchy. That I'll check nice. out later.
Okay, and then we got uh, some awesome nibbles and tips and viewer questions and great stuff, so stick around. We'll get into all of that. You need to go prep that? Yes. I'm about to get into this guy here. I'm taking these Smarties with me. Smarties, for real? They're delicious. Hey, wait, wait, Bye. wait. Explain to our Canadian viewers, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smarties in America are... Um, America? In the United States. Our in Canadian <laughs> viewers are in America. North America. <laughs> in the United States, Smarties are not uh, chocolate-filled things. They are just little bite-sized candies that taste sugar. like... Yeah, they're just sugar. They're right. sugarlicious. Now for the technical content. Yeah. I'll see ya. All right. So, you may have been in that situation where I don't know, you're on a public computer, you're at a library, university, what have you. Maybe there's just something broken and if only you actually had, I don't know, access to the command prompt, you could probably fix it yourself then wait around for an administrator or something like that. Of course, we're not talking about anything uh, nefarious here, but sometimes you'd like to bypass some restrictions, some of those restrictions, whether it's group policies or many other ways that we've talked about here on the show to kind of just hide things like, I don't know, access to the command prompt. And we've got a fun way to bypass that this week. This was sent in by Operator, and I really love just kind of, you know, the essence of what this hack is. So uh, I figured let's just go ahead and, uh, and jump into this because it's kind of a fun, neat little hack. All right, so say like you're on this computer here and you just don't have access to the command prompt, but you can get to MS Paint. Uh, who doesn't love MS Paint? So many fond memories of like Windows 3.1, right? Well, it turns out if we just go ahead and create a new image and we make this image one pixel tall by six pixels wide, we can use some RGB values to make a really neat file here. So we're just going to go ahead in Windows 7 and change this uh, size here under, uh, where is that? It's resize, or it's properties, right? So properties, we're going to make it six wide, one tall. We're going to make sure it's color. We're choosing pixels and OK. And we've got a very small file now. So head over to view and zoom in a whole bunch and back to home. And we're going to need to create some custom colors here. And you're going to see why in just a second. Here are the RGB values. So we want to click edit colors over here. And these areas right here, red, green, and blue, we're going to just go ahead and change these to our own. And we're going to use for the first color uh, 10 for red, 0 for green, 0 for blue. And we're just going to hit OK. And there we go. We've got a color that looks pretty much black. If we grab our pencil tool here and we're zoomed in as far as we possibly can and just click on the first pixel, our first left pixel is now black. Now let's go ahead and fill in the rest of the colors. Okay, so this is you know pretty easy. We just go back over to our edit colors and again, this time we want to enter in 13, 10, and then 13 for our RGB values. Kind of a dark purplish thing. Do that one more time. And this time we're going to use 100, 109, 99 as our lucky lotto numbers. So that's 100, 109, and 99. Okay, kind of a gray. And then again, one more time, we've got 120, 101, 46. kind of a brown there, and then we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And our final color is actually just 0, 0, 0, or dead black, so there we go. And pop that color right there. And we're just going to go ahead and save this as a bitmap file. We're going to call it command dot BMP and make sure I choose my save type here as a 24-bit bitmap. All right, so save. Now if we come over here to our bitmap and hit F2 to rename the file, we're going to rename the extension here from BMP to BAT. And we're going to say yes, we want to do that. And if we run this, we have a command prompt. How cool was that? How did it work? Well, it turns out we're actually telling it to run CMD inside of CMD. You see, normally when you run a command, in this case it ran BMJ, if I were to just type in BMJ, it would say that's, not, it's, that's nothing. If I say command BMJ, well, normally if you run a command like say DIR, CMD DIR, whoops, CMD slash C DIR, 
It does that DIR, but then it just disappears, right? Well, what we've done here is we have a command prompt that's going to stay, and here's how it all works. I'm going to fire up my favorite hex editor here, HXD. This is an excellent tool. You're going to want to go ahead and grab this if you don't already have it. It's a freeware tool for Windows. And basically, um, and yeah, just go ahead and grab this over from mhnexus.de. So thank you everybody over there for this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up this bitmap file here that we've renamed to .bat. And you can see there what we have is CMD dot exe and if we've actually done that with the colors we'll do this again so you can see in the example let's see i'm going to go ahead and create a new painting again one by six zoom in all the way and if i do those same colors this guy right here this guy right here let's do half of it and then that gray in the middle And again, save this as a 24-bit BMP. We're going to call it Command 2. And let's now open that in our editor. And you can see we have CMD right here. And as we go ahead and add those colors, we're actually putting in the hex editor, we're, we're entering in the equivalent of CMD. And when we rename it to a bat, there we go. We get a command prompt. You could actually come in here with a hex editor and do, like, say at the end of this, we want to do space uh, slash K. I don't know, any command you wanted. I, I'm going to just do pause, right? I'm going to save that now. Come back over to our batch file. And there we go. It runs cmd slash k with the pause command. Of course, that could be any command you want. Anyway, I thought that was a really nifty way to kind of bypass some restrictions. Of course, this isn't going to work on like everything, but it's kind of a cool tip to know in your arsenal. Maybe write down those numbers and keep that around for that special time in every hacker's life when we need to bypass a little bit of restrictions. Anyway, coming up, Shannon is going to be showing us how to navigate Windows like a pro, a power user, if you will. But first, let's take a quick break and check in. Not with Kirby now, we're checking in for some cat five. Yay, it's more cats. If you want to build a video site or if your website has a play button, I recommend getting a .tv domain. You see, a .tv website lets you showcase your original content and create a unique site, not just another YouTube channel. Just go over to domain.com and search for the perfect .tv domain for your new idea. Then at checkout, use coupon code HAK5 to save an extra 15%. And if you need hosting for your new .tv website, don't forget about Domain.com's web hosting plans. They start at less than six bucks a month and have everything you need to build, maintain, and promote your website. Remember, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain, Domain.com.